Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and I'm so glad you guys decided to join me for another video. Today is a super fun video in my opinion because we are gonna make these fun embroidered superhero canvases. So I have three out of the nine that I uh, just got done making and I'm really excited about how they turned out. I think it turned out awesome. Now, don't kill me. You can't buy these designs. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got these um, as an exclusive bundle from sowingseedsdesigns.com. I will leave a link down below. And it was an exclusive bundle and uh, they're not, they don't sell them on their website. It was, if you bought the bundle, you got it. Um, and if you didn't, then you missed out. But I know there are a lot of superhero um, style appliques and stuff on Etsy. So you can find something similar, but you're probably not going to be able to find these exact ones. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm really happy I bought them because I was kind of on the fence about it. It was like $30 for the bundle and it was a surprise. So you didn't know what you got, but they turned out really cute and I'm really excited. So there's more, um, that we're going to make. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I did it. I got these frames at the dollar store. They are eight by 10 frames and it was really easy. Um, I show you guys, showed you guys before in another video embroidering on canvas, but this was like full on applique, not directly onto the canvas. You know, there was still fabric. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all the different layers and how I glue it. So this is a fun video. So I'm really excited for you guys to come along with me. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So here is what I am using. These are eight by 10 canvases from the dollar store. So they were all a dollar a piece. Obviously, um, I got them in the crafter square section and I have nine of them. Sorry for the weird lighting right here. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and open these and take the canvas off of the frame. The first frame I tried taking off each staple individually using a flathead screwdriver and this is what I've always done when I've done these reverse canvases but I had the idea to just use a ruler and an exacto knife and cut around it and it actually worked perfectly which was great because using the flathead screwdriver um, to like pry the screws out really hurts my hands so after the first frame um, I just went and sliced around the whole frame and ripped off the excess and it worked perfect so I did all I did that for all of them except for the first one Now that I have all the canvas off of the frames, it's time to paint. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like fun bright colors to match the superheroes like red and yellow and blue, but I decided to just paint them all in matching black and keep a super clean uniform look across all of them.
I wanted to share with you guys some of the fabrics that I'm going to be using. This is a really cool texture black. This green is awesome. And then I have some other fun ones. This is like a really light blue stripe. This orange is really cool. A lot of this fabric um, I've had for a while. It was my husband's um, grandmother's. And we had totes and totes and totes. Um, of fabric because she was a quilter. So that's where a lot of this fabric came from. Um, not this, I got this at Joann's and then I have other stuff here that I'm gonna be playing with. So I'm not quite sure which um, fabric combinations I'm going to use, but let me give you a little sneak peek of what they look like. So here's Batman one. This one says, bam, there's a Captain America. And then Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man, Superman, Flash, and POW. So I'm really excited. So the first one up is Hulk. So I'll click on it and then set. And um, I'm basically just not even going to move it. So we're going to go ahead and hit embroidery. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do for all of them is I am going to hoop my stabilizer and then use my basing adhesive to lay the canvas on and I'm going to float the canvas on um, and I'm going to embroider the fabric just straight onto the canvas. So this is going to be a lot like my embroidering on canvas video except I'm not embroidering straight onto the canvas and I'm actually using fabric for the applique. So uh, the first up is Hulk so I think I'm going to use this black texture as the background and then this green for the fist. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. So let's go ahead and stitch these out.
Okay, so I have my fabric ready, and as you can see, it has three layers to it. It has the stabilizer, the canvas, and then the fabric. And I'm still just leaving it all one piece right now. I'm not cutting it. And so I'm just gonna get the little fuzzies off. And here is my frame, they're all dry. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some E6000, put it around the frame right here on the back, and then glue it on. And then, um, so I'm gonna do all of these. I have all of these set and ready to go. Um, and then we will cut our fabric around the frame. So I'm not cutting anything yet, I'm just gluing. So um, I will talk to you guys after I get these all glued. I'm just going to take off all of my random uh, weight things and we should have, oops, that one didn't glue all the way. So I will touch up the glue on that one. Let's try this one. I was running out of E6000 and I know that was the last one that I did. So the rest of these are, are on pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut around the edge, um, trying to not pull on it but obviously trying to not hit the wood either I thought about taking my exacto knife in doing this part too which you could do you could probably do that um, but I'm just doing scissors because I think it'll be quicker um, but if you want to be picky about your lines, then maybe that would be a better option. Because I'm not really being picky about it. <laughs> so, there we have it. So, I will just clean up the few spots where the fabric is a little bit longer outside the frame, um, but I think we did a pretty good job. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is clear out all of these scraps. And so now what I'm gonna do, cause you can see, I still have three layers of stuff. So I still have my fabric, um, that basing adhesive from when I put it on my embroidery machine is still holding pretty good, but I know it's not going to forever. And then obviously I have my stabilizer, but I still want all three layers because I like how thick it is. So I actually already went ahead and did two just to see exactly how I wanted to do this. So what I did is I just took some Mod Podge and uh, basically just glued all three layers together. So now it is like a pretty pretty thick layer. So, um, so yeah, so we are just going to Mod Podge um, the outside of the design so that they are, so that it stays together. And then afterwards we will put on um, our sawtooth hangers. So I will show you how I center those. So I am going to get a foam brush. And then I actually found these little bottles of Mod Podge at the dollar store. So I grabbed a few of them because I was pretty sure my big one was dried out. So I have um, three of these. I don't think I'll need that much. I don't even think I'll go through a full, a full one. But I'm just going to use this and a foam brush. Um, and just glue glue down these edges. And I didn't realize um, that I was out of foam brushes, so I'm just gonna use this smaller paintbrush, um, which is fine, because now I can just dip it in here instead of uh, dumping this out onto a plate. So I'm just gonna take my brush, I'm gonna go to the first uh, layer of fabric and just do, do a good layer right there, press it down, and then do the, la the layer between the stabilizer and the canvas. 
and just make sure I get it on good. And again, just press it down. Okay, so here they are all cut out and I seriously could not be happier with how they all turned out. Some of them are a little more wrinkly um, and I guess I could have fixed that when I glued but it doesn't really bother me. So if that bothers you then obviously fix you know as you go. Um, I think it was just the, the Mod Podge and not laying it flat on the back side. So, but some of them like this one turned, oh, let me try to not get the shadow from the trees outside. Some of these ones turned out really cool. And I really like the fraying. If I was doing this on a onesie, I would have put the heat and bond on the back to prevent the fraying. But I think it looks cool on these. I think it gives it like a, a vintage vibe, kind of. So you can see on the Batman up close, there's like the... The fraying around the edges and I happen to really like that. Let's see, the Captain America one looks really cool. This one I'm a little unsure because it does go vertical like that with the point of the star being up, but I'm a little unsure how I'm going to hang them all on the wall. So I'm either gonna do it horizontal like that or vertical I'm not sure so it can go either way so I'm just gonna play around with measuring it on the wall and see how it goes so there is all of them up close and personal okay guys so I am over here on my cutting mat and I'm just using it so that I can measure where to put these sawtooth hangers so this is how I'm going to hang it on the wall so you can see the um, it's got a, I don't know if you can see that, a dot in the center. So I have this on my cutting mat. Sorry, I know you can't see the numbers and I know this is a weird angle. Um, but I have it right here is 15 and right here is 5. So I know the middle is 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sawtooth hanger right here. And where the dot is centered on the sawtooth hanger is uh, right in the middle of where I am measuring. So I'm going to take my blue Sharpie marker and just mark where the where the holes are so that in case it moves or anything, I can just line it back up 
um, you know, in case this moves off of my measuring, I can just go like this and it will be all lined up. So now I'm going to get two of the little nails that come in this pack. And I have fat fingers, so this is actually like the hardest part for me. <laughs> so I'm uh, just going to try and keep it right where it is. And there we go. So now it is ready to hang on the wall. So there we go and ready to hang. So I'm just going to go through and do all of these. Okay, I'm bringing you guys in closely to show you what I did. So I put the tape right where the center dot is and I made a line. So I'm going to put this piece of tape on the wall and it's going to hopefully help me keep it centered. Okay, so here they are all hung up and I think they turned out so cute. Oh my gosh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I think they are adorable. The one thing I will say, as you guys saw in the video, is they don't stay on very well, but that's okay. I think they turned out super cute. This was such an easy project. I'm really happy with it and it goes along with everything else in their room. They are superhero, well, mostly Batman and Spider-Man obsessed. I got these from Hobby Lobby, but these are in their room too. And then I would show you their beds, but they're not made and their room is a mess. So 
Uh, but they have Batman and Spider-Man beds too. So we are on our way to even more of a superhero bedroom. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This was a really fun project. I think my videos are going to be a lot more DIY type videos like this. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if this is the kind of content you like or if there's something you guys would like to see. Um, and I will try to make that happen for you guys. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys next time.